dropping in to the uh, our YouTube channel. So this is a, uh, a cardio aerobic work workout. The muscle working today is the the heart. So this should take you about 13, 14, maybe 15 minutes. Uh, if you can do a warm up, there's a warm up video on the channel. If you want to have a look at that. Alternatively, really the start of this session is a little bit like a warm up. It's not essential, but it might just get you a little bit more in the mood. Okay, so we're going to do a series of kind of moves. It's going to be continuous. The idea is to get the, the heart really working hard. You know, so you get more beats per minute to be hard. You get more blood per beat. And it's that blood that's going to pump out of the body, carry the oxygen, get to your muscles. And that gives you the energy to do what we need to do. Okay, so I'm starting off just by marching. Now, the thing to think about when we do all of these exercises, just about, is you think your posture. Really important to have a good posture, and a good posture from a standing position would be knees slightly bent, your tummy tucked in towards your, your spine, so you're engaging your core, you can feel your core engaging, you get your shoulders are pinched back, your chest is down, yeah? So there's your, your good posture, so try not to lean forward, and then just sticking there now, so on a lateral raise, up and down, just feel that nice stretch there on the top of the shoulders. I'm just going to pick up the pace a little bit. So fast feet and then just punching out. Straight jabs, so you're working the upper body, working the lower body, and back to marching. Next one is going to the other side. The overhead clap, like a modified jumping jack. So I'm not getting off the floor, a little bit too vigorous for some of the adults. But this one is going to work your upper body, it's going to work your lower body. We're doing these, should be doing these for 30 seconds, so. Uh, again, just think about that posture, try not to lean forward. Think about it. Okay, next one, we're gonna do, do the marching. This time we're gonna do some fast feet, we're gonna be punching up, and punching down. So punching up, punching down. So doing this, 30 seconds, just feel yourself warming up now. So working, it's all over body, work out, upper body, lower body. A couple more, keep me on right there, and then back to marching. Next one, good for the balance, good dynamic stretch as well. It's going to transfer the weight from one, standing on one leg, so like you're reaching up. In the shop, pinching something from the top shelf. You're probably no, no longer forward. The inflation is 70% or whatever it is these days, just in case you can. Here's the next slide to help you get there. Okay, a few of those. It's good for balance. If you can hold it for a couple of seconds, then you're testing your balance as well. Back to marching. Uh, next one, we're going to get what we call some V's. So we're going to go forward and then back in a V shape. Do that quite quickly. You feel your breath. You're breathing, you're getting faster. Your body warming up. Okay. We do these in walking football, and some people, half of them really, I didn't quite get it, and then end up like walking up or going across the pitch. You should always end up back where you started. Uh, that's about it. Okay. Just going to do some dynamic stretches now. Again, we're going to test your balance. So the first one we're going to do is a, actually before that we'll do work the legs, we're going to do a knee, a knee drive or a knee clunch, so it's one, two, three, and then like you're breaking that piece of wood over. And it should feel a nice stretch in your quads, in your thighs, but also in your lower back as well. Having a lot of lower back problems and high stretches, standing stretches like this, really useful for getting that lower back nice and supple, nice and warm. Nice and loose. Okay, so the next one we're going to feel like a shallow curtsy. Uh, so go as shallow or as deep as you like. It's all about getting to the point where you're challenging yourself with these exercises. It should always be a challenge, it should be quite an enjoyable challenge, it shouldn't hurt. If ever you feel it, it's hurting, just stop what you're doing and, and have a break. It should be a challenge. So for this one, we're going to like move the, 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 the leg back in a semicircle and then like your curtsy in. Okay? And you might find that you wobble, absolutely fine. That just means that you're challenging your body to stay, to stay, you know, to stay upright, you know, in a, in a 
challenging state, which is good. Okay, Do a few of those. As I say, you can go quite shallow, or if you want, you can go a bit more, you can go a bit deeper. You really feel like you're working your adductors, you're working your quads, you're working your glutes, all the muscles that we need, the functionality to make sure we can stay active and healthy at an older age. Okay, that's that one. The next one, we're going to do, uh, do some speed skaters. So there's three, three ways of doing this, three variations. So one is just like a jump to the side, dynamic. If you do this for 30 seconds, you know, you know about it, you can feel your body really getting warmed up. And then if you can, just put one leg behind, Hold it for a couple of seconds so you're testing that balance as well as getting the cardio exercise. And if you can, if you can go a little bit lower, then you're emulating the speed skater. As I say, if you do this for 30 seconds, you know, you know your heart's getting a good, healthy workout. Okay, if you do say you fall, absolutely, it's absolutely fine. There's absolutely no evidence anywhere for any of the survey, any of the research, that the cardio or strength resistance training you know, should cause you any kind of health issues. But you just need to be careful that you don't fall. Okay, so that's that one. Next one. Let's keep moving. We're going to do some, going to do some side steps and then a shallow squat. Do you want me to do the squat? Make sure that your, your feet are a little more than the, the, the hip width apart, that your weight's in your heels, you're driving through your heels, you're sticking your bottom out. I find you just put my hands in front, either in a prayer position or cross, or you could have them out. But to make this a bit, little bit more dynamic, I'm going to do a squat and a kick out. I'm going to do it with some right and then left. And then I'm going to do it next. A bit of last, a little jump to the side, and a squat. A little lateral move to the side, and a squat. This whole squat section should take about 30 seconds. Just shallow squats, and then back to margin. The squat's so important, the squats, because you're really, really working your glutes, you're really working your quads, you're really working your. Your, uh, your hamstrings, all the muscles that you need for your functionality. So that functionality, when you think about getting up the stairs, getting out of the car, getting off the loo, getting out of the seat when you're watching, you know, Netflix box set back to back, that kind of functionality can really help with that to make sure we can do that way into older age. Okay, next one's going to do some heel taps, bring your foot across, to get a nice stretch there in your Abductor, not a muscle that you work very often, so it's a good one for that. Stretching your lower in your butt, and your bottom, your side. Next one, just going to do some, again, back to the, the shallow squats. The shallow squats with the knee touch, right, left, right, and left, back to the margin, and then. We're going to finish now. We've got five or six at the time there. So we've got one, two, three minutes when we're going to do what we call a high intensity interval training bit. So we're going to have 15 second bursts of high intensity activity followed by a good 30 second rest. So it's quite vigorous this. It's really going to get your heart rate up. You're going to get in here you know, to the uh, right to the top of the uh, aerobic curve. If it's feeling like you, know, you don't want to do them all, just miss one out, that's absolutely fine have a rest. But this is the section now that really gets that, that heart rate up. You know, so 60-70% of your maximum heart rate, which is what we're aiming for to get the maximum amount of health benefit. So we'll do we'll do four, 15 seconds each. As I say, if you don't want you're a bit tired after your 30 second rest, just miss the next one out. Then we can build it up. Yeah? It's all about challenging yourself and finding a pattern and an, and an intensity, you know, that, that, that suits you. So the first one is going to be fast feet for 15 seconds. Okay, you put your posture, your posture, and you find, I find, you put it in for the last five, put it for the last five seconds down, nice and fast, five, four, three, 
two. One. Now, get a drink. Have a drink, you get 30 seconds off though, so you get a chance for your breather to get back to somewhere near normal. There you go again. And all the research that I read now and the people I talk to are, are far more advanced as athletes than I am. So this is the most effective way you know, of improving your cardiovascular fitness interval training. Rather than a steady, you know, plodding run for a few miles, you might give you, you know, a, a sprint, then a break, then a sprint, then a break, or take in one or two hills, then have a walk. We're replicating that, with what we're doing here. Really intense, then a break and it's the most effective way, as I say, of maximising the many health benefits from uh, getting active. That's another waffling. Second one we're going to do, tough one this, upper body and lower body, we're going to be pulling down the rope with the fast feet. Let's go. 15 seconds of this. I'm going to go about yeah, pulling down or climbing the rope. There's the can. Last five seconds, really pick those knees up. Five, four, three, Two, one. And now you feel that? I think it's quite exhilarating. Hope you feel quite exhilarated. You know, when you get the heart rate really high and you're kind of out of breath, you're trying to catch your breath and you slowly come down. It just feels, just feels like then that's when your endorphins are being released, you know, the serotonin and the, uh, the opiates that, 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 that help with our mood, help with our uh, levels of satisfaction with life. So that's good two. We'll just, just do one more for now. So we'll do fast feet, punching up, punching down. So we're making up body and lower body. Go for 15 seconds, then we'll call it a day. Okay, so we're only putting in this last 15. Let's go. So fast feet, punching up, punching down. Good posture. Now, when it gets to the last five seconds, really put it in five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So that's well, we've just had a pat on the back, nice, nice, tough. With three of those, we've done what we've done there is the aerobic curve. We've started off nice and slow, we've slowly picked it up, and at the end there, we've, we've gone to sort of a moderate to moderate vigorous level of activity. So it's a huge amount of benefit, you know, for all our cardiovascular and other body physiological systems from, from doing that. Okay, after you've done that one, there is a video on the YouTube channel about warming down. It's important when you do a session like that that you do warm down, uh, stop things like cramps and blood pooling, and it'll also mean that your muscles will recover quicker and your next session will be easier. So fitting a warm down after that, otherwise you're good to go. Thanks a lot.